Hey everyone, my name is Chris and today we'll be showcasing Better Fight. So as may have seen, it, this resource has been up for a few days now and finally I must say that we fixed all the issues that we had, some minor ones and we've been adding a lot of new features so we can make this resource as better as it can be. So I will start first and I will show you what this resource will really offer you. So. I'm gonna go here, I'm gonna go find Better Fight, and here we are. Better Fight brings you a crosshair, a headshot disabler, a jump spam prevention, a recoil system, a remove whipping for pistols, basically with most of the guns, not if not all. I haven't tested it with everything, but I think it's everything. A roar prevention, a view cam forcer, and weapon damages. We're gonna go through all of these um, features in the fine detail. So this script is obfuscated so you're only allowed to change stuff in this hefty config. This config brings everything that you will ever need if you want to change everything. So first thing is the license key because this script is only allowed to be used on two IPs at the moment. So yeah you have to put here your license key. Here is the authorization status and a check version which prints in the console so whenever you start it let's say we say restart better fight it's gonna print out several authorized and restore is up to date so if you don't want this to be there it bothers you just turn it off through here so let's start first with the recoil system because it's the most important thing in my opinion and then we can move on with everything else so the recoil system starts off with uh, the main recoil and then we have the right left recoil. What right left recoil is, is the vertical one. So you're gonna set this to true if you want and then it's the randomizer chance. If you want to be randomized and it's not like always right left right left and it's like a spas thing you can just set it up here. At the moment I have it 50% and it takes the values to down here. This is the main recoil and here is the vertical recoil so we're gonna start first with the weapon pistol so i can show you at the moment the value is 150 and the right left recoil is set to one so have our guns here all of the guns that we're gonna need in this each video so we're gonna go to the test range and let's check out so as you can see the gun goes pretty high because it's set to 1.50 you are able to change this to whatever you like. This is uh, set to our server needs because we run an RP server. And if you check here, you're gonna see that the gun goes right left all the time. As you can see, it went a little bit right. And this is, I have a very good chance actually. Yes, I have a very good chance actually. So it's always 50%. If you set this to false though, it's gonna always go right, left, right, left. So let's just set this to false. Test it out. There we go. As you can see, it goes a little bit to the right all the time. Again to the right, again to the right, now to the left. So it always goes. But I will keep it to 50% so it isn't like a lot. So let's start changing a few values so you can see how it really behaves. So, this is the main recoil, as you can see. Wait, let's restart it one more time. So, this is the normal recoil. If we set this to, let's say, three, it should be double. Double, and let's set this, for example, to two, so you see the change. Now, if we restart it, you're gonna see that the, decoil, the recoil is double. Wait, we're out of bullet actually, I didn't know, notice that. Let's test it again, so you see that... It is a bit more. Wait, let's... Maybe I fucked some, something up. Hmm... I'm not actually sure what gun am I using at the moment. Okay. Let's set this to, let's say, 10, so you see actually the difference. Oh wait, I'm actually changing, fuck man, I mean, I'm changing the values on my other server, wait, I fucked up, wait, 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 
<laughs> okay, let's set this to three. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, let's set this to three and this to two. And now you should see the change. I was like, why is it not working? Did I change? Did I do anything bad? Okay, now it should work as it's exactly so you see it's a lot more now so these values play a lot of role so we're gonna set this back to normal and now we're gonna see what the suppressor multiplier does so we have these two new options that we have added these two new options are the grip multiplier so let's say i have a gun which is 1.5 if you open your calculator you do 1.5 times 0.8 this is the new recoil that you will be getting this one here so it should be 1.2 but because we don't have a grip multiplier on the pistol we're gonna be using only a suppressor now so this is without a suppressor let's restart it one more time this is without suppressor and this is with a suppressor So it is uh, way less than before. It's 0 0.72 all the time. Let's now wait. Let's remove the attachment. So as you can see, it's a little bit more. So these multipliers can all be changed in all the guns that you can see. All of the guns. Every single one. Um, I would also talk about uh, damage multiplier. Because you see it here that much multiplier works at the moment so what it does it is what pretty much says it changed all the multipliers for every single gun and it's all through this config so what i'm gonna do now is i'm gonna use a few guns now so we show you pretty much how it is and then i'm gonna use the other features so this is with a micro smg then we have carbine rifle And if you use a suppressor with it, you can see that recoil is way less, way less actually. It's way more uh, able to you to handle it. So one more thing that I want to mention about this to the recoil is that if you're in first person, you can actually have less recoil because it gets very autistic if you don't do it. So this is, oh wait, I need to remove my hat. One second guys, let me remove my hat. Let me remove my hat really, really, really fast. Uh, okay, wait. Not this one. I need to remove the hat. Where the hat the cats? Um, yeah, okay. There we go. There we go. So, let's also turn on... Wait. Mm, okay. There we go. So, in first person, it's gonna be way less recoil. So you can change this value from here. What does this does actually? It's a multiplier for all of the stuff that they're going to use. So if you have a recoil, this is gonna multiply it by 0 0.7. Okay, so let's now start with the other ones. We have use custom cross here. Let's. This is the crosshair that you can see on my screen at the moment. You are able to also change this crosshair if you do want to through here. You go to crosshair, go to HTML, and you change it through the image. I use this crosshair because it's a really nice one, and you're not able to back abuse it if someone is inside the bush. It doesn't show. So you see, it doesn't become red. Okay, so next thing is remove crosshair on first person. So what this does is when you're in first person, it doesn't show the crosshair. You can say the true or false, it depends on what you want. Then we have remove headshots, which is pretty much simple. This only works only for players though. You can still headshot bots, as you can see on my screen. Let's headshot this motherfucker. There we go. Then we have jump spam prevention. Here we go. When you jump, the player falls down, depending uh, if how much his palm stays. There we go. And you can change the timer through here. At the moment, it's set to two seconds. 
If you have it a little bit more or whatever you want, it depends on you. Then we have remove pistol whipping. So you know this animation where you have a gun outside, let's say this pistol. You like aiming, it does this animation where it hits him. If you want this to be disabled in your server, you can just set this to true. It's a future of pet fight. Then we have roll prevention, which pretty much says what it does. When you aim, you're not able to roll, as you can see. Then we have um, view cam forcer, yeah. Okay, so let me actually start with this one. So this is a disabled third person shooting. So let's set this to false also. Let's actually not use a cross here at all because we're gonna be always in third person. So there we go. So now whenever you have a gun outside, it's not gonna allow you to go, as you can see. But if I equip my gun, I'm able to be on third person. And when I take my gun out, it puts me straight on third person. There we go. So there we go, we're gonna set this to true. True. Uh, let's also change two more values. We're gonna set this to false. We're gonna set this to true. Yes. There we go. So, what this does now, let me show you, wait. Is view cam forces so view cam forces whenever you aim um, it sets you on first person so if I do right click you can see it's first but I'm going first person and when I leave it it goes outside from first person and then we have these two timers where it's pretty much if you want to set the timer so it doesn't take like a lot of time or you want it to have like a fade in fade out effect you make it from here I personally like it with 200 and 0, so that's what I kept it. Let's say if I put it 500, you're gonna see that it takes a lot of time for it to go out. Go first person, but it takes a lot of time to go away. But I like to keep it 0. There we go. Then we have use vehicle view cam forcer. What this does is whenever you get inside a vehicle, it sets you unarmed, always, when you get inside for the first time. And then, if you take a, a gun out, let's say we take this gun out, it puts me on first person and I cannot go away. So let's say we want to use it. Also, I wanted to mention now that, let's set this to false now, we don't need any more. I wanted to mention now that there is a vehicle recoil that you can change on whatever you want and it works very nice. Let's actually test it now. So let's take a micro SMG. There we go. This is a completely different recoil than the one here. This is, doesn't have to do anything with this. You have to set this separately. But you can use the same values if you want. Okay. Then we have, what else do we have? Ah, we have the custom weapon damages and that's it with this script. So lastly, before we end this video, is I want to show you the export that we have at the moment. So, we have three exports at the moment. We have ultra specific gun recoil, which pretty much changes the recoil through here. It takes this number here that you're gonna put, let's say 4.00, and it's gonna multiply it with this one. So if you go here and you put 4 multiplied by 1.5, it's gonna be 6. So the recoil will be 6 now. And then we have the alter gun in general recoil. What this does is again a multiplier, but it also it works for all of the guns. So if I use 0 0.5, it's gonna half the guy half all of the values here. And then we have reset all gun recoil. What you can use this is let's say you have let's say some nice or let's say your player is stressed, you can use this alter gun recoil and when the stress system is over, you can reset it back to normal. So this is why I have these exports. Um, I think I've shown everything, but I, I am not able to showcase everything, but I do uh, have to say that everything works, it's been tested. And we've, we are updating this script daily in case there's something that uh, 
there's some bugs or anything. So this is for the episode. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, and yes, see you next time. Adios.